Hello, I'm here to read Genesis. Uh, no, not Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> what? Exodus 4. All right. Miraculous sign of Pharaoh. Then Moses answered and said, But suppose they will not believe me or listen to my voice. Suppose they say, Lord has not appeared to you. So the Lord said to him, What is that in your hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Cast it on the ground. So he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. Moses fled from it. Then the Lord said to Moses, Reach out your hand and take it by the tail. And he reached out his hand and caught it, and it became a rod in his hand. That they may believe that the Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, has appeared to you. Furthermore, the Lord said to him, Now put your hand in your bosom. And he put his hand in his bosom. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was lepro leprous, like snow. And he said, put your, hand in your back, put your hand in your bosom again. So he put his hand in his bosom again and drew it out of his bosom. And behold, it was restored like his other flesh. That will be if they do not believe you, nor heed the message of the first sign, that they may believe the message of the later sign. And it shall be, if they do not believe even these signs, or listen to your voice, that you shall take water from the river and pour it on the dry ground. The water which you took from the river will become blood on the dry ground. Then Moses said to the Lord, O Lord, I am not eloquent, neither before neither." neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant. But I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. So the Lord said to him, Who has made man's tongue, mouth? Or who makes the mute, the deaf, the seeing, or the blind? <coughs> Excuse me. Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, I will be with your mouth and teach you what you shall say. But he said, O Lord, please send by the hand of whomever else you may send. So the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses, and he said, Is it not Aaron the Levite, your brother? I know that he can speak well. And look, he is also coming out to meet you. When he sees you, he will be glad in his heart. Now you shall speak to him and put the words in his mouth. And I will be with your mouth and with his mouth, and I will teach you what you shall do. So he shall be your spokesman to the people, and he himself shall be a mouth for you, and you shall be him as a God. And you shall take his rod in your hand, which you shall do the signs. Moses goes to Egypt. So Moses went and returned to Jethro, his father-in-law. And said to him, Please let me go and return to my brethren who are in Egypt, and see whether they are still alive. And Jethro said to Moses, Go in peace. Now the Lord said to Moses and Maria, Go, return to Egypt, for all the men who sought your life are dead. Then Moses took his wife and his sons and set them on a donkey, and he returned to the land of Egypt. Moses took the rod of God in his hand. And the Lord said to Moses, When you go back to Egypt, see that you do all of those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in your hand. But I will harden his heart so that he will not let the people go. Then you shall say to Pharaoh, Thou says the Lord, Israel, is my son, my firstborn. So I say to you, Let my son go, that he may serve me. But if you refuse to let him go, indeed, I will kill your son and your firstborn. And it came to pass on the way at the encampment that the Lord met him and sought to kill him. Then Sephra took a sharp stone and cut off foreskin of her son and cast it at Moses' feet and said, Surely you are a husband of blood to me. So he let him go. Then he, she said, You are a husband of blood because of the circumstances. And the Lord said to Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. So he went and met him on the mountain of God, 
and kissed him. So Moses told Aaron all the words the Lord had sent him and all the signs which he had commanded. Then Moses and Aaron went and gathered together all the elders of children of Israel. And Aaron spoke the words which the Lord had spoken to Moses. Then he did signs in the sight of the people. So the people believed when they heard the Lord had visited the children of Israel that he had looked on their affliction. Then they bowed their heads and worshiped. All right. Well, Moses complaining like he was doing because he didn't want to go down. He was making a whole bunch of excuses. Uh, you can tell God, after a while, God got really irritated and mad with him because he, he's like, uh, listen here, fella, do what I say. So, which he finally did. Aaron went with him, his brother, so he could speak to him, speak to the king of Egypt. Uh, Moses speaking to Aaron, so he'll speak through him. Moses, you can tell, didn't have confidence to start off with. But as you go down the road, you notice that he gets more and more confidence uh, with his speech. But right now, he is like, I don't want to do it. Why are you making me do it, God? Where, where, where? So... <laughs> Oh, good old Moses. But we know he he did change. So anyway, that was Exodus 4. And go ahead and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, help this word to reach people. Help them see your wonderful message, Father. In Jesus' heavenly name, amen. Talk to you guys there.